Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the next episode of the Wonder Wheel Crew Mode. I want to apologize for the delay in between episodes. Just simply put, my computer's had sort of a mental breakdown. It's finally recovered. Uh, we've managed, I've managed to fix it, so, uh, very pleased about that, but regardless, um, yeah, it's time to start off this episode with a match against Swansea. So hopefully we can build on good results in the past episode. And, um, yeah, so I will be trying out some new effects and other stuff. I've recently picked up a Cyberlink, uh, Director Suite 5, so I want to just experiment with that a little bit. I feel like that's going to add a lot more depth to the series, and I do have a bit bigger future plans for it, so I'm hoping I can. Alright guys, so obviously getting into the match for Swansea, uh, it's a fantastic team to play with, uh, just a really incredibly solid team, strong at the back, good up front, has very, very good, uh, team in terms of squad depth, I'd have to say, like, there's a couple of reliable options that I can, uh, always bring off the bench, which really, for me, just makes me so confident in the team that I just have in front of me to play with. But regardless, we're going to take a look at the two teams that we have. So, firstly, we are going to be playing uh, Swansea. They have a 4-3-3. Uh, Fernando Lorente, Chelsea target, who, thank goodness, I don't think he's going to go. But Kilfie Sigurdsson is not starting. What in the world are they thinking there? And Jordan Ayew. Quite a surprise there. But regardless, uh, we're running our usual 4-1-2-1-2 lineup. Only one change, Jack Wilshire is going to go in the CDM for Habio. He is tired from the last game, so needs a bit of a break. He can come in as a bit of a late game substitute, so I'm thinking he'll be great off the bench. It's Wilshire. It's Wilshire. Come on, it's Wea! It's Wea! What an incredible team goal! It's a brilliant, flowing, attacking move, and what a finish there, George Wea! is simply incredible in the air. What a cross from Griezmann. And a keeper could do absolutely nothing. Simply brilliant. Just a superb team move from everyone involved. And what a goal to start off this game against Swansea. Get in there. Oh, what, what a bounce, what a bounce! Oh, jeez, oh jeez. Exactly what I want you to do. I mean, what else could I want you to do? You know, actually, maybe just go into the box and not interfere with my friggin' play? Oh, uh, regardless, though, we're in halftime. That could have been incredible from Wilshire, but... Um, yeah, I think Hamas might actually get taken off here. I think I'm gonna switch him out for Almiron and then put, uh, Fili Coutinho there. Uh, that'll be all the change for the moment. Uh, Hamas is just tired, but Coutinho can be really good as a cam. And just move him out from the way. It's Coutinho! Oh, what a hit! It's Coutinho with a stunning strike, but right off the post. Okay, that's gonna be a foul and probably a good chance to bring somebody on. So, what I'm thinking now, Coutinho's gonna come off for. Um, actually, you know what? Coutinho's gonna come off. Okay, alright, so idea. Okay, so Griezmann's gonna check for Antonio. I'm gonna switch in Wilshire, I'm gonna switch in Coutinho for Rabio, and then switch Wilshire to the cam position and have Rabio in that CDM spot. Just so we can provide some good defensive solidity there. That, that's just game mechanics. Like that's not even Rabio's fault, that's legitimately I mean sorry, Dembele's fault. That's legitimately just game mechanics. Okay, it's Michael Antonio. It's Antonio! Oh! Antonio with a stunning hit! It's Mikhail Antonio, and it's a goal, and it's a beauty. Mikhail Antonio kicked the crap out of that corner flag, because that was a brilliant strike. Oh, what a hit, son. What a hit. Andy Gray. Oh, man, man, oh, man. What a hit. Ah, uh, I think that deserved a legendary call there. Oh, what a goal. What a hit. Mikhail Antonio. What a beauty there! Right into the corner! And just a few minutes in to his substitution, he has now scored a goal. Either way, that's the end of the game. 
2 nothing victory over Swansea. I will definitively take that. A very good result. We played to our level, and I think there's no doubt when saying that uh, it was a deserving victory for us. So yeah, there we go. A good result. 2 nothing over Swansea. But I, I think I'm forgetting something. Um, Wayskin. At the end of the last episode, I think I got a guaranteed tots and... Oh! I forgot to include Team of the Season Casemiro. I will fix that for the next game. But, yeah. Uh, just taking a look at quick schedule, honestly. Um, so, now we're gonna spin the wheel of victory. That is right. So, who are we gonna be able to get? Welp, let's see. Alright, so unfortunately I've had some issues uh, with the power director, which is the system I use, which is the screen recorder that I use. So, in short, I'm not going to be able to spin the wheel. However, I am going to be able to bring Tots Casemiro back into the team, so I'm going to go over, I will edit his stats, and he will come into the team. So, sorry about that, but hopefully we can uh, compromise with that amazing Tots Casemiro. Uh, Casemiro looks like after a 95 overall rated CDM and to be honest with you I had to tone down his stats a little bit because I it's not fair having a 98 overall rated player in this like there needs to be a competitive aspect here let's be blatantly honest because you put in his stats he's a 98 he didn't show his tactical awareness though because that may um, have actually affected basically why I was a 98 but still like, that was just insane. What a player that toss card is. I imagine it should be hell on earth to face him, so... Yeah, Casimir 95 overall right there. Choice! Okay, so we're getting to the second game of the episode, so we're playing against Chelsea. So, in the simulation, they are top of the table, so it's going to be a good challenge against them. Uh, just seeing what we can do as a team, so hopefully we can go along and uh, grab a victory against them. So. Obviously, there were no transfers in the first um, transfer window. I set that to make sure of it. Um, but yeah, so teams are the same. Uh, unfortunately, Mario Gaspar uh, got injured, so we are going to miss him. DeAndre Yedlin is always a solid option on the right back position, but admittedly, that's the one position where we're lacking depth. We really need someone who can back him up there. Either way, talking about our team, so we're running the usual 4 on 2 on 2, but obviously, you notice DeAndre Yedlin there on the right back position. Obviously we have a ton of great players uh, in reserve there and if things go wrong I may in fact switch out Michael Antonio for DeAndre Yedlin. Regardless, Chelsea, they're running with a 5-2-3 a actually. I think a 5-2-3. That formation is going to be a son of a gun to deal with. Um, but yeah, they have a very good bench, a very good team, so let's get into this. This could be a really tough game actually. It's morning to Billy! Simone Dembele! Oh, what a chance early on! Thibaut Courtois, the brilliant save. Come on, it's Hamas, it's Ham! Hamas Rodriguez has had a stunningly horrific finishing record in front of goal. I mean, just some of these chances are just. It's inexcusable to miss. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I'm aiming it to the far corner and I'm mystified what else I can do. Okay, oh, what a save by Butland there. We have been under fire early on. That's going to be whipped in it's away. Okay, it's Griezmann. Casemiro. Oh, my. That's got to be a straight red. That's got to be a straight red. He went right through the... That is a yellow card. You are an absolute piece of trash human being referee. One of the things I'd really like to see in FIFA 18, actually is if it could actually get handballs to actually be like something in the game because they'll strike shoot the ball and it'll hit like the player's hand where it should legitimately be a, be a penalty in real life but because they just don't have it coded into the game seemingly oh oh just okay I think Usman Zembele is gonna come off honestly okay so I think it's gonna be a triple substitution so Antonio for him uh, Hamas is gonna come off for Will Shear and then Almiron's gonna come on for Dembele. Those changes we're gonna make. Um... It's Hamas! It's Hamas! Oh my god, Kurt Zuma, what a block! 
I should have taken that a second earlier. It's way up! Oh god, I can't believe we didn't win this game. Thibaut Courtois absolutely stood on his head there. Um, yeah, we're gonna end off that episode with a draw. Um, which means flat out just nothing's gonna happen. That's really gonna be the end of the episode. So, yeah, kind of frustrating. Um, really good first game. Uh, Casemiro was just flat out dominant. Uh, but it is kind of disappointing that we got a, a draw there. I think the difference was actually Yedlin. He was not great in that game. Uh, just didn't really offer the versatility that I like in a uh, right back. Probably should have brought Antonio in for him. But regardless, uh, that's going to be the end of the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace!